that this is going to be incredible. This testimony, like it's going to be wild. And you might want to bring your tissues out right now. Okay. Go ahead and tell them from your heart. Exactly. All right. My name is Corey Roberts and I am from DFW. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Let's go. Originally from Wisconsin. So you might wow. pick up on that accent there. So um, my amazing wife is Amanda, and we got four boys between the ages of two and 13. Yeah. So we got introduced. I got told about the patch about a year ago by true friends, Danny and Diane McDaniel. And they are like Steve and Gina Merritt. They pray for their friends to win. And so when Danny told me about the patch, I didn't watch a video. I didn't know any of this. He told me what it did for his frozen shoulder. And I had just thrown out my back really bad for the third time in my life. And I said to my wife, sign us up. We're enrolling. Let's get a bunch of patches. And that's what I want for my birthday present. So the other times I had hurt my back, it would take three to four months to kind of be back on my feet from that. And I kid you not. I put the patch on my lower side of my back, right where the pain was. And within three days, it was as if it didn't even happen. It was incredible. Within a week, I was back to full activities, coaching baseball, working out, and all the good stuff. Yeah. So you heard Steve say about what the patch is doing um, behind the scenes that you aren't expecting. Six years ago, I ruptured my appendix, and I was in the fight of my life. I, I, I was close to dying. It got really bad. But since that time, I've had this constant discomfort right where my two surgeries were. Every day it was there, just this nagging thing that never went away. I did not get the patch expecting or knowing that it could help with that. I'm on the patch for about three weeks, and all of a sudden, one morning, it dawned on me the discomfort that was there for six years. It's gone. And, you know, later on, I learned about what it can do for scar tissue and things like that. And so my wife, we y'all heard about sleep, right? You got four boys, ages two to 13. For a mom, sleep is everything. Um, and what it's done for her for that and so many other things for her. But what I really want to get to is. Our 13 year old boy, Tice, Tice, the wise leader, touchdown Tice, our first miracle baby. At the age of four, um, his eyes started crossing really bad. We went through patching the glasses doctors wanted to do surgery we didn't feel led that way through prayer and so we had been praying for a long long time and i'm telling you it, his eyes crossing was significant and when you become a teenager that starts to bring some self-confidence stuff to you we did not have a picture i could not find a picture of our son with his glasses off without being able to see how significant his eyes were crossed. As soon as those glasses came off, boom, there it was. Headaches, you know, trouble reading, et cetera. And so the first Zoom that I was ever on was a product testimonial Zoom. And I heard about three or four old people. I'm like, hey, come on, yeah share testimonies about their eyes and like this bam light bulb moment i'm like i didn't even think about that how many of y'all know we overcome by the blood of jesus and the words of our testimony all i can tell you in that moment the testimonies i heard brought me and my wife hope i said honey we are putting a patch on him right now and this is just how we roll. Every morning I put that patch on them and I said, this patch is working in the name of Jesus and it is going to fix 
our son's eyes. And let me tell you what, day by day, week by week, when he took his glasses off, the crossing got less and less and less. Yeah. And all of a sudden, one day in August, he came out of um, youth group at church, tears in his eyes, glasses are off, and he said, Dad, Mom, I can read my Bible clearly for the first time ever. And his glasses have not gone back on his face since August. And if you could see the smile on his face and the pictures of him now, um, as a dad or mom, you know, nothing better than that. And I'll just end with this. You know, question I immediately asked myself, was who am I to say that God can't give a man a creative idea, a creative invention, creative technology to answer our prayers of nine years for our boy? Thank you all.